Hello and welcome to this quick video. This is a quick video to let you know I've designed something new in Thingiverse. Now I have lots of designs already on Thingiverse. Designing stuff and 3D printing stuff is part of the hobby for me and that's why that printer behind me was in pieces last weekend because two or three faults on it uh, and took it apart and fixed it because I'm always printing and designing stuff. If you are interested in 3D printing for the hobby, I'll put a link to the series down below. However, that's not why I'm here. And why I'm here is for this little doohickey on the top of these goggles. Now, I have the Walksnail VRX unit in here, and I'm starting to play with it. And what I did was I just took off this HD0 unit from the front of those HD02 goggles and used the bracket that was already there. Because actually, the bracket that comes with the HD0 stuff actually just attaches here to the fan at the top and it's a really neat way of doing it. However, with the VRX unit, there are two sticky pads to put it onto the front of your goggles and lots of people have made things to help you attach it. However, I really like this for a couple of reasons. One, it is pretty neat. The second is that you can actually tilt the module up a little bit. And that's great. If you normally fly, and when you're flying, you're looking down at the ground, it means that you can tilt the modules up so they're still pointing into the sky. So I actually like the ability to have a tilt. So I've just designed this thing here, and I've stuck it on Thingiverse. So if you want to download it, and you want to use it, or you see the Walk Snail VRX videos that I'm in the middle of shooting, and wonder how do I connect mine like that so I can tilt them forward and have it easy. That's the way to do it. All you need is an M3 bolt to go through the top here and you use the existing four screws that are part of the fan assembly. Just take the top of the fan off and it goes in. I've tested it here on these HDO2s, on my HD3s, on my HDOs and it seems to work really well. So hopefully that's useful for some of you out there that maybe have a goggle module like this and needed some kind of bracket. Um, I looked on Thingiverse and usually couldn't really find any good solutions. So sat down with SketchUp and a cup of coffee and made and printed this. Again, links down below to all the stuff I'm talking about. But if you have anything particular you want me to cover about the Walksnail VRX unit, I'm tempted to do a video covering the basics of how it works definitely going to be doing a video putting it in the hands of an analog pilot and have them fly analog with those goggles and then switch over to the Walksnail VRX and just see what their reaction is. Uh, so there's a couple of things planned but if you have anything particular that you want to see do let me know. Pop it down below and I'll add it into the series. But there we go. Just a cute little way to connect your bits and pieces. You can download and print it for free. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.